Hey guys, check out my new Samsung Galaxy S30. It's the newest in town and it's so nice to work with it. You can just like take it everywhere and use it everywhere. You have like the perfect screen for scrolling the newest memes. So you do not have to worry to miss anything as it's everything clearly visible. As you can see, it perfectly runs some 3D shooters like Doom and oh, now I need to change the weapon at a moment I need to go to 2 oh damn it so it's perfectly usable and very um, yeah enjoyable and with all jokes aside this thing could really be used for a nice overview, for example, for like home assistant or such. To have like a good overview of your data. So here is this media display which is having like a 30 inch diagonal size and has like full HD length and 540 pixels in height and normally you would play like some advertising for your best coca-cola or something like that just that this thing also has the touch screen like you can see here and even has like running full stock Android and ADB with root access so you can do whatever you want with it and Let's take a look at the back side. So what I had to do was to um, use this USB-C converter to 12 volt, as while the main PCB would have a USB-C connection, this one does expect directly a 12 volt input and without any negotiation like this device does. So I simply glued this power back onto it so that the wires on it and now it's a perfect mobile tablet to get it around. One really interesting part I have never seen before is this uh, panel which just does not look like it has a touch screen at all. So you have like here the data cables for the LCD, you have the power for the LCD, a Wi-Fi cable, uh, the backlights which you can also see if you take a closer look to there. But it turns out that this panel itself, it's an LG panel, directly contains the touchscreen driver and touchscreen in the glass very strangely. And it turns out this twisted pair here is a USB connection which goes to the panel and every touch related stuff is handled there and even when yeah removing this bevel around there's no real touch screen to see so no no obvious hardware so i thought at the beginning that this thing doesn't even have a touch screen before turning it on but as you can see it's like perfectly running